Are you ready? We're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022, and it starts right now with cardio. No equipment needed, so let's go. All right, Killer Bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving, and that means that we're getting started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to 2022. Welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend, and around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And you know what really feels like self-love? Finding that healthy weight with the 5-0 method, where every day, we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea that losing weight could be this easy. Every day we eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you've been eating. We drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in ounces of water. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. We also get the right amount of sleep, which means that we go to bed at the same time every night. We get up at the same time every morning. We don't worry about exactly how much of that in between was the sleep. <laughs> We also exercise moderately every single day with a workout just like this one. And maybe the most important thing, we manage our mindset by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And you guys, I've got a helpful thought for you today and I love it. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. Here we go feels really helpful to me. And here's how you know, just really quickly, whether or not a thought is helpful to you. You ask yourself how you feel when you think it. When you think, here we go, does that feel good? For me, it feels very exciting. For you, if it fills you with dread or makes you think, oh, I don't know, I don't know about any of this, then that's not a helpful thought. Your thoughts will tell you if they are helpful or not by helping you feel a certain way. If you feel good, it's a good thought. <laughs> if you feel bad, it's not necessarily a bad thought, but it's not a helpful thought. You guys. We're going to talk a lot more about here we go, but right now, here we go. Here's what it looks like. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for 20 seconds. We are going to walk and I've got a whole bunch. Oh my gosh. I like a whiteboard full of low impact cardio moves for us. Let's go ahead and start walking and I'm going to tell you all about it. We are no repeating today. So if you have a move, if I have a move, in fact, we're going to do day breaks when it beeps. That means we're going to have our hands swaying up overhead while our feet just tap gently from side to side side. If there is a move at all today that you don't like, my friends, when in doubt, walk it out. Here we go with day breaks. We're going to go back and forth between walking and these low impact cardio moves. Absolutely no jumping, no transitions to the ground. They are, they are meant to be perfect for you no matter where you are on your weight loss or fitness journey. This workout today, you know, I've built this. Here we come back to walking. I've built this as a fast walk. You're welcome to go fast or you're welcome to go whatever pace works for you because here we go. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing skiers. Our hands are going to go up and down in front of us and our feet are going to shuffle back and forth behind or underneath us rather. So what I mean by here we go, here we go with skiers. <laughs> What I mean with here we go is that it's the beginning of the year. It might be the beginning of your weight loss journey. It might be the middle. It might be the end of your weight loss journey. I don't know where you are, depending on how many times you've watched this video. <laughs> but right now, right now, we are off on an adventure. Here we come back to walking. And I hope that it feels like that. I hope that that thought, here we go, fills you with excitement and confidence and happiness and a thrill that we are going to get where we want to go. When it beeps again, we're doing wide open side kicks. Hands are right here at our chest, opening wide while we kick out to the side. And by kick, what I really mean is that you're just raising your leg. <laughs> we're not really trying to get any power behind this kick. We're simply raising our leg, thinking about having your core pulled in nice and tight. Squeezing in your middle helps you move your limbs in whatever manner we want to move them. And then right back to walking. Even when we're walking, having your core pulled in really helps you stand up straight and tall helps you breathe naturally, helps your body move in all the ways that will help it get stronger and fitter. And perhaps, I'm gonna say the word thinner when it beeps again, by the way. We're doing uh, dancing X's nice and wide here. We're bringing our elbow to our knee and our knee to our elbow right here in the middle. When, when we are losing weight, 
I, I don't know about that word thinner. That's why I'm kind of stuck on that one because I know that that might be a helpful word for you or an unhelpful word. Here we come back to walking. And that is something that might be worthy of you spending a minute thinking, well, how did I feel when she said the word thinner? Do I want to be thinner? Is that, is that what I'm aiming for? You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing toy soldiers. We're going to have our hands up overhead, reaching our opposite hand towards our opposite kicking foot. And that is something that's really important to notice about your goals, my friends. When you are thinking about aiming for a healthy weight, what that means to you is probably different than what it means to somebody else. And when you are thinking about your healthy weight, about your goal, about where you want to go with our workouts, here we come back to walking, it's going to be very important for you to really pay attention. What did that word feel like? Did it feel good? Did it feel not so good? Did it, did it send me off on like a tangent of thinking other thoughts when it beeps again? By the way, we're doing half jacks, which is literally half a jumping jack on one side, right here, and half a jumping jack on the other side. Absolutely no jumping today, my friends, because we can get anywhere we want to go without jumping, without transitions to the ground, without knocking ourselves out. You guys, here is the great news about the 5-0 method. We do not have to exercise harder, harder, harder. Here we come back to walking in order to get where we want to go. In fact, at this age, this 5-0 age, it is better for us to probably work out less than we have been. I know that's very novel, very odd. When it beeps again, we're doing bug slappers. We're gonna have our hands out nice and wide. As we step out, we're reaching across our body. Does not matter if you're actually slapping a bug off of your leg. <laughs> we're just having some fun with this. And when it beeps again, of course, we are coming back to walking. My friends, the thing that I wanted to really, I got off on a whole other tangent there about certain words and how they make you feel, which is a very important thing to notice on your weight loss journey. But really the thing that I wanted to talk about with our here we go is the we part of it. And I don't mean we like small or little when <laughs> it beeps again. We're doing something I call push, push, crunch. I'm going to scoot over here just a little bit. We're going to do a push to the side, push to the side, swoop over and crunch, swoop over and crunch. You do not have to be on your weight loss journey alone, my friends. That is where I wanted to go with the we. You and I together can do anything that you want to do. When, when we all, here we come back to walking, when we all get started on something new, it can feel very daunting, right? Like I don't really know where to go. I don't really know what to do. I don't know how to do anything. I don't have any of the answers. When it beeps again, we're doing can-cans. It's a knee and a kick on one side and then a knee and a kick on the other. And that's what I want to really help you with. Here we go with a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. You do not have to feel alone or confused or like you don't know what's going on on this journey. I'm here with you and I have the answers you need. You guys, when I was talking about the 5-0 method, that is something that I have free for you to download. Here we come back to walking. It's on my website. There was probably something on the screen and or for sure a link in the description box below where you can go to my website. You can download this information and it's everything you could possibly need to know about losing weight at our age. It's different now. Oh my goodness, we are doing chicken wing high knees. <laughs> I really had to think about that one because I couldn't find it on my whiteboard. So, so involved in telling you all about going to my website to download your free information that we stopped doing the chicken wing high knees. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I love. Here we come back to walking about a no repeat workout. I never have to figure that out again. Chicken wing high knees is, it's one of my favorite, but it's also like a really difficult one for me to wrap my brain around. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing letter K's. Gonna have our hands up overhead. We're gonna make a letter K by bringing one hand out to one side while kicking that same leg. And then on the other side, it is not the letter K. Sometimes it's the letter K, sometimes it's not the letter K. Now you notice when we put our hands up overhead, oh my goodness, your heart rate came up even more. This is really what I wanted to talk about with that here we go. You know, this year, here we come back to walking. This year in 2022, do you have a lofty goal? Do you have some place you'd like to be at the end of the year? 
When it beeps again, we're doing forward hinge arm flappers. Basically, it's a deadlift where your arms are doing jumping jacks. <laughs> so your booty is gonna push behind you while your arms are flapping. As your booty pushes back, your torso will naturally bend forward. The thing about thinking about where you'd like to be at the end of the year is that it can really inform just how hard we push right now. Now, if you are not new around here, this is something that I actually talk about a fair bit. Here we come back to walking. When you are in the middle of a workout, you want to make sure that you can get to the end of the workout. When you are starting a new weight loss journey at the beginning of the year, you want to make sure that you can get all the way to the end of the year. When it beeps again, you guys, we're doing shooting stars. We're going to have one hand cooking or pushing out one way while the opposite foot is kicking out the other. And that means, frankly, that you don't want to go out too hard. I know I have billed this as a fast walk to kickstart weight loss, but the best thing that you can do on your weight loss journey is really know, here we come back to walking, that you don't have to go hard, you don't have to go fast, and the harder and faster you push right now, the less gas you're gonna have at the end of the year. Here we go means let's look forward to the entire journey. Let's take this at a pace that we can get all the way through. Here we go with booty kicker jacks. Hands are doing jumping jacks again while your lower body is doing some booty kickers. Kicking our own booty with this workout, except hopefully not. Because here's the thing about being able to get to the end of the year. When it beeps again, of course, we're coming back to walking. It means that we cannot knock ourselves out of the park <laughs> right now. <laughs> And some of us, some of us, I've, I've done this a million times myself, you guys. Some of us have to go out hard. We just think that we have to work so hard to get where we're going. When it beeps again, we're doing middle skips. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're, we're essentially skipping, except there's no actual jumping. So you're bringing up your opposite hand and your opposite knee in a skipping motion. Now I happen to get a, like a little bit of a bounce in my toes here, because that's fun for me. You are welcome to make this your own in whatever way feels good to you. Do you feel like skipping? Go ahead and skip. If that's gonna be too much, so you won't make it to the end of the year, back to walking, then take it on down a notch. Whatever, whatever you need to do in each and every workout to make sure that you can still work out tomorrow, that you'll still be working out next week, that you'll still be working out at the end of the year, then that, my friend, is what you should do. When it beeps again, we're doing windmill tap backs, hands and feet nice and wide, reaching our opposite hand down towards our opposite, whatever you can reach, your thigh, your knee, your shin, maybe all the way down to your foot, to your ankle. Whatever works for you always works for me. You'll notice that moving quickly, bending over while having your hands up in the air. Oh yeah, your heart rate came up. That's what happens. We come right back to walking so that we can kind of help moderate that. Making sure that we're moving moderately is actually how we're going to get, not just through this workout, not just to be able to work out tomorrow, but all the way to the end of the year. When it beeps again, we're doing big arm side shuffles, one of my favorites. We're doing big arms <laughs> right in front of us <laughs> while shuffling to the side. Now you notice I get a little bit of a bounce here. It does not have to be jumping. You are welcome to step from side to side. Whatever feels good to you, whatever helps your heart rate stay in a zone that feels moderate so that you can be working out again with me tomorrow, whatever, whatever, <laughs> Truly, whatever feels good to you always feels good to me, my friends. Oh my goodness, when it beeps again, we are doing something I call upside down jacks, which means that we're gonna start with our hands up overhead. And as our hands are doing jumping jacks, as they do, we're gonna step out to the side, so much so that we actually change our center of gravity. We're stepping out, pulling in that core, of course, kind of throwing ourselves off balance and catching ourselves so that even while we are doing cardio, oh yeah, we're getting a little bit of strength work and core strengthening in here too. You will find here, come on back to walking, you 
also find here on the Paula B Fitness channel that I'm always getting us the most bang for our buck. When in doubt, we're not just doing one thing, we're doing two things or three things or maybe even four things <laughs> because when we can be nice and efficient like that, it makes your workout very effective. When it beeps again, doing something I call reach cross crunch, which means that we're going to reach across and then crunch. Reach across and then crunch. Thinking about having your core pulled in, thinking about moving at a pace that feels right for you. Might be slower than me, might be faster than me, might be exactly the same as me. I'd be surprised, frankly, if it's exactly the same as me. <laughs> Just because if we come back to walking, because this is my moderate. The thing about being moderate for you is that it's moderate for you. And if this is your first time doing some of these exercises, some of these probably feel really weird, right? I know. When it beeps again, we're doing papa squats. It means that we're popping a little bit of a squat, not a full squat, just a little one, and then having our hands go up. A little squat, hands go up. Honestly, it's the hands going up that is really raising your heart rate that makes this cardio. So if all you're doing is just pushing your hips back a little bit versus actually like coming down in a squat, that's completely perfect. We're not really trying to squat and get that kind of strength work in. Here we come back to walking. Unless that's appropriate for you, my friends. Even though here we go, it's our thought for the day, I want you to be so empowered to know what works for you while we're going. When it beeps again, we're doing low swinging high knees, which I really had to think about. <laughs> hands are swinging low, which just means that they're not going up overhead. And while we are swinging our hands, we're bringing up one high knee at a time. And I had to make sure that my hands were on the opposite side of my body from whichever knee was coming up. <laughs> And you will find with me, and this will be more important on literally every other exercise. <laughs> Here we come back to walking. <laughs> Is that I am so right dominant. I'm very, that must be left brained to make everything on my right side of my body seem so much more important. I always, I wanted to bring up my right high knee and I wanted to move my arms to the right. <laughs> when it moves again, we're doing a front punch side kick. So we're kicking front while bringing up your opposite leg on the other side. I call it a kick. It's totally okay if it's just a little raise. All you're doing is thinking about having your core pulled in and moving at a pace that gets your heart rate where you'd like it to be. Probably, if I had to guess, lower than you think. <laughs> Here we come back to walking. My friends, the harder you work, the harder it is to lose weight at our age. I know that sounds bizarre. When it beeps again, we're doing something I call swimming frogs. Hands are gonna be up overhead. Gonna bring our elbows out to the side and down while we bring up one knee out to one side. Awesome job. I remember when I first discovered this weird thing called menopause, <laughs> like, like I'm the first one who discovered menopause, but here's, here's what it felt like. It felt like all of a sudden everything in my life was different. My hair was different. Here we come back to walking. My skin was different. Obviously my periods were different. My body was different. I was doing all the same things, but getting a different result. And it was very bizarre. When it beeps again, we're doing ding-dongs, which means our hands are swinging low. Again, not going up overhead, but from side to side. And while they swing one way, that same foot kicks out at the same time. I call them ding-dongs because it feels like a bell, like swinging from side to side with the clapper in the middle going ding and dong. Because <laughs> you can really get this one rocking and kind of, kind of challenge your balance as we're tipping from side to side like this. Excellent, excellent job. And the thing about everything changing, here we come back to walking, is that at this age, our body doesn't recover as well from exercise as it used to. So if you're used to working really, really hard and putting it all out there and just no pain, no gain when it beeps again, we're doing swooshing skiers, which means that we're making the infinity symbol with our hands here. And while we're doing that, we are stepping from side to side, kind of throwing ourselves off balance again, swooshing and skiing, even though we're not really skiing. <laughs> and I will tell you, I feel like I say this every time. If you've heard my stories before, I apologize, but I've never been skiing. I have absolutely no idea what it looks or feels like. <laughs> Can we come back to walking? I live someplace, thankfully, in my opinion, that has no snow, so I have no experience with skiing. Even though I could drive about an hour and go skiing, I never have. Isn't that interesting? 
maybe not. Anyways, when it beeps again. We're doing something I call punch, punch, kick, and this again is where that whole right dominant thing really makes sense. So punch, punch, and kick. Punch, punch, and kick. You're punching, one each hand, and then you're kicking, whichever hand has just punched, you're not kicking your hand, but you're kicking on that same side as whichever hand has just punched. When it beeps again, we're coming back to walking. Oh my goodness, what a good job you're doing, you guys. We only have one more low impact cardio exercise. It's called Rainbow Jacks. And there's no reason for it. It's the only thing that I call a jack that is not jumping jack arms. We're actually putting our hands overhead like a rainbow. And while we are doing that, one leg, or one knee rather, is gonna come up on one side at a time. So your hands are overhead like a rainbow and one knee up at a time. Now I will tell you, when we are done with this, we are technically done, but we're not quite finished. So when it beeps again, we're gonna come back to walking. And then I have one final exercise for us that is a little bit different slash slightly more challenging. So I'm gonna bring this down to a nice gentle walk than the other things that we've done. We're gonna practice our balance, my friends. We're gonna stand on one foot and the other foot is gonna do something I call around the world taps, which means that we're gonna tap forward, we're gonna tap out to the side, we're gonna tap back. If you'd like something to hang on to, please hang on to it. We are practicing our balance. This is not a test. <laughs> we're tapping and tapping and tapping. And maybe that means we're tapping forward and side and back. Maybe that means that you're actually putting your foot down or that you're actually kind of sweeping your leg instead of pulling your foot up. Wherever your balance is, that is is where we are moving from today. And then we're coming back to walking, just again, nice and gentle, super, super gentle here. And then we're gonna do that around the world tap on the other side. My friends, when I say here we go, it means that we're going from wherever you are. Be really okay with where you are right now and have your eyes on that prize. Here we go with around the world taps. Have your eyes on that prize of where we're gonna be at the end of the year. If we're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022, we could lose 65 pounds this year. Wouldn't that be amazing? You guys, when it beeps again, it's the last time that it's going to beep. We're gonna cool this down and I'm gonna assure you, not for the first time <laughs> and not for the last time, that this was enough today. I know, I know that some of you really wanted to start off just full steam ahead. And I will tell you that here we go, this year means that this was just so perfect. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I'm gonna see you the day after tomorrow. I'm gonna see you the day after the day after tomorrow. I'm gonna keep seeing you and we are gonna lose weight this year. And by we, I mean you because I'm actually okay with my weight, but I have lost weight before. So I am here with you on your journey. We are gonna lose weight together. We're gonna have such a good time. And we're gonna open it up nice and wide. Ah, I'm gonna point you in the direction here on screen. We're gonna close it up real quick. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your back. I'm gonna point you in the direction of a video that I made just recently all about how we are losing 65 pounds this year, five pounds down every four weeks in 2022. Because here we go, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had such a good time with you. Make sure before you go that you click that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow.